Hi guys and gals. Um, I'm so sorry. It has been so, so long since I've done a video. Um, I've had computer problem after computer problem. Then I lost my software that I used to say hi to you guys. And my niece is still here. Um, and she takes up a lot of time. Um, so I had a whole bu I had several videos that I wanted to upload for you guys. I had my um, pinch me, my um, influencer, and I've lost my videos. So I may not edit this just to, for the sake of getting it to you. This is I'm coming to you with an unboxing. Um, this is probably going to not be for some of you, but if it's not, just turn me off. It's okay. Um, I don't know how this is going to, to work. This is a handbag that I ordered through Amazon from Handbags Bling and More. Um, of course, it doesn't tell me how much I paid for this. Anyway, this is what it looks like. And I'm sorry, the lighting is really bad. I'm downstairs in the basement. It's dark. Everybody's in bed. So, okay. I'm going to have to slide it back. Okay. Let's see. You have a zipper front here that has a pocket that goes quite down to the front. Um, I've had a couple people ask me for this video because I told them I was getting this. Okay. This that has the buckle front, it does have I don't know if you can see that, but it has like credit card slots there, as well as even like a an ID. It's like it's got a clear front. I don't know why they would do that because you can't you can't see it. It's not like this folds clear down. But there's that. Um. It does have a warranty. This, uh, for those, this is a concealment purse. That's why I'm doing this. Um, in looking at the wide variety of concealment purses, I noticed that none of them shows you the inside of the purse. None of them, and. Yes, the concealment area is important because that's why you're buying a concealment purse, but you're also still buying a purse. So you want to be able the inside to be functional. I'm an organizer, so if the inside's not functional, it just does me no good. Um, you have on the side little pockets. I love these little pockets. They're great for hand sanitizer, lotion. Um, there is one on this side. Your concealment areas. You have one on the left side and one on the right side. Um, and they lock. Okay? So that means that if you're a left-handed draw or a right-handed draw, you have... Either way, um, the pocket does go clear through, so it is one large pocket in the back. It does come with a holster inside here. Um, that you can see there to help um, keep your gun in place. This right here is the holster that I currently carry. This is a Sneaky Pete. Um, let me go ahead and I am unloaded. Um, 
so you can see here I do fit I don't have the clip in but it does fit within the area you buckle it down and then it slides inside your concealment pocket okay and the inside of this is velcro so it keeps your um, holster from moving and you can hear it so that's well that's really cool um, and this is a 380 uh, yeah a 380 so I mean it fits this holster here fits my 380 perfectly um, I don't think it would fit my nine. Just don't think it would. But I don't know if it will show you. I mean, the inside of this pocket I can fit my hamper through um, is very large, so I don't think you'll have any problems there. I like the holster though, because you can just fix it right there, and you know where your gun is. Um, you do have, this is a crossbody, um, in my opinion, when you're dealing with a concealment purse, um, you have a weapon in it. You don't want something that can easily come off of your shoulder or be taken. Um, this particular purse is crossbody, which um, reduces drastically anybody stealing your purse. This also has a reinforcement wire in it. Um, it's got a cable through the, um, which you can see it there, through the strap um, so that it can't be broken. So that's another plus with this particular purse. Um, inside on the, uh, I just will show you this on the back side here. There is another pocket, great for to throw your cell phone. On the inside, there is a zipper here for an inside zipper pocket. Uh, you know, great for your mirror, lipstick, those little things that you don't want to lose clear down inside. Then there is a center flap here that is zipped as well. Um, in my other purse, this is where I keep my husband's EpiPen. Um, therefore, I know where it is. And then there is an, uh, the third side. So there's like, you have one, then the zipped pocket, and then this side here. And the entire thing zipped to close. So, if you driving and it topples off the seat, not that you don't lose anything. Um, it is a little deeper than what I like. Um, you know, I kind of, I like the shorter, but with this, I think I can add a little more stuff. I like the fact that these zippers lock. Both sides to your concealment lock. So they don't go down once you lock them. So if you are out and you don't want to take your gun out of your purse, but you have kids, instead of taking the time to put everything up and away, because you're going to leave again in a half an hour, you just lock it up. I do like that it locks. I don't want to get in the habit of leaving my gun in my purse, um, so I will just continue to put it up, but, and I don't think when you're carrying, I mean, you're out on the street, come on, you're not, you don't want it locked, you really don't, um, but both sides lock, so right-handed, left-handed, both sides have keys and lock. So that is my concealment purse. Um, just came in the mail today. This is even, this pocket here has elastic sides to it. So it's stretchy. I'm very impressed with it.
as of right now. I mean, once I start putting my personal items in it and go to carry it, we'll see. Um, but because, like I said, this, the wire, this cable, I'm just wondering if you're, if, is that going to affect? I mean, are you going to feel that when you're carrying this thing? I don't know. I don't know. The buckle that this attaches with is very, and they swivel too, which I don't really need them to swivel right now, but. I've never done crossbody either. But that's what it looks like. It's really a dark brown. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But I will post the link below so that you can look at this. Um, I had several in my cart and really couldn't decide which what I wanted to go with. Um, I'm an organizer, so I went with the one with that claim to have more pockets. Um, I think this right here is the only thing that I'm a little disappointed in. I think with this front pocket right here, it would be nice if this front flap like folded down, like to have like a because it it is a built-in wallet. I mean, all these it's got all the credit card slots in it, but it would be nice if this pocket here would fold down, so to, you'd have easier access to your credit cards and your driver's license and all of that. Um, I think would be the only suggestion that I would have with this bag at this point. So, like I said, I'll post the link in, link in the description bar. I'm going to try to get up the rest of my videos. I have a box, you guys, a huge box of empties of my wax melt. At this point, I, I can't really do a review. I might do a what I've been melting just so you guys can be nosy and see what I've been melting, but other than that, I really don't know. I can't do a review. I've lost my notes somewhere. They're in no they are in a notebook somewhere, but I can't. I can't do a. Um, I can't do a review. Um, if anybody is interested, this where I did show this. This is. Um, I'll take the flip back out. Um, this is a Smith and Wesson 380 bodyguard. Um, I got this for. For my anniversary, um, it does have the, the laser, which you can see there's a button on each side. Um, there it goes. Um, for the laser, um, it's, it's, it fits my hand. It's small. It's compact. It's lightweight. Um, it's, it's an easy gun to... For me to conceal for so this is my my con my preferred concealed to carry gun um, I love my sneaky Pete holster um, it just looks like a huge cell phone case it's I don't know if you call that leather leather whatever um, and it is magnetized um, it is a snug fit for the gun. It is specifically made for this gun. Um, as you can see, it does not just slide out. It is a very snug fit. Um, it's okay with certain outfits, but there's other times where you really don't want this on your side with things that I wear. Um, that's why I wanted the purse as well. Um, I will post the link um, to the Sneaky Pete holster below as well. The 380. I mean, you, I just picked, you can, it's Smith & Wesson. You can pretty much find that anywhere. Um, prices are going to vary <laughs> from Cabela's to, you know, McFly's to wherever you look. Um, that is my brief concealed to carry spiel here with what I carry. 
my new concealed purse, as well as why I chose the crossbody and my sneaky Pete holster. I'll post the links below. I hope you guys are doing well. I miss talking to you. I'll see you soon. Bye.